Hi, I'm David Vance, and welcome again to the movie. Uh, we're up in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia uh, this summer, and I'm with a good friend up here, Corey Baldwin. Corey was kind enough to invite me on a groundhog hunt. He's got a fantastic place to hunt here, and he really knows what he's doing on groundhog hunt. Corey, thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate anytime. you having me. Well, here we've got Corey trying to spot a groundhog. We're set up on this real pretty knoll here. Got a lot of potential here, a lot of holes. Beautiful country. Pan all the way around here. Got got lots of shot opportunities. He's far enough away, he'll probably be back out. Yeah, that's good. Usually after 200 yards or so, they'll they get curious, they'll come back out. Yeah, that's pretty good distance. Hey, you got that one. Here, right here's one, one hole. Of course, uh, like you say, it's not really evident until you get up to it. Uh, once you peel the grass back you can see yeah there's a nice tube going down in the ground yeah the cow walk in this direction slips in steps forward breaks a leg and okay now tell us about your AR there this is a Rock River Arms AR-15 it's an A4 varmint model it's got a 24 inch stainless bull barrel um, I've painted it black to keep the glare down not to spook the groundhogs this is a DPMS ergonomic grip, which makes it really nice when I go into the, the three-point stance. Um, this works well for a oh, yeah. little palm shelf. Yeah. And what I'll do a lot of times is put my hand under here or something to this effect or just reduce number of fingers underneath until I get the elevation to I get, want. Yeah, to get it right. Down there. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, that's another it's pretty good size. Big mature female. Huh. This is for the 243 Winchester. Yeah. These are the 70 grain nozzle or ballistic tips. Those are the ballistic tips. They're pretty fragile, aren't they? Very fragile, very thin jackets. Um, these bolts are loaded at, uh, the last chronograph I did was 3463 feet per second, which is fairly fast. It's not not the fastest out there, but it's definitely fast it's enough to make this fast. bullet work. Yeah. Uh, as soon as they touch anything, uh, hair, skin, uh, muscle bone, they completely come apart polymer tip drives back through the cavity there's a hollow void in the middle of the bullets and it gives it a running start so to speak and it'll just go to pieces um, very rarely do you find any bullet pieces in the ground house. is he looking away uh, he's down in the grass now One of the biggest you've shot? Yeah. I've killed a couple that might be a little bit bigger, but I mean, this thing's just fat. He's a big one. Look at all that fresh digging. He's really rooted up there, hasn't he? Yeah. It was. It was. Huh. That hole, hole is hard packed right there from sliding the building. Yeah. What well, it is, and They get in there and that mud builds up and they pack and slide. Especially a groundhog that size makes a big hole. Yeah. 